In Greek mythology, there was this guy named Sisyphus that had to roll a boulder up a hill, and every time he got up to the top of the hill, it rolled back down, forcing him to go down the hill and roll it back up again. Shigeru Miyamoto was sitting over in Japan one day thinking about this story and asked himself, how can I make a game that makes people feel like Sisyphus-san Desuka? So he created the arcade game Donkey Kong, but he wanted a wider audience to suffer, so he created Donkey Kong on the NES. There weren't enough suffering people, so Nintendo eventually put out Donkey Kong Classics to ensure that the maximum number of people could experience the futility of doing the same thing over and over forever. Donkey Kong is a game about a forever alone fatty Italian named Mario trying to pick up a stupid incompetent chick named Pauline. Pauline lets herself be kidnapped over and over and doesn't run away even though she isn't bound by anything but her own inadequacy. But the real loser here is Mario, who is desperate to gain favor with a girl who doesn't value her own life, let alone his. I don't ever see her, you know, interfering with the barrels or stopping a spring or two for old Mario, and even when he saves her he has a brief 8 second span where he gets to just kind of look at her longingly. You'd think she'd run over and give him a kiss or something, but she's such an indifferent prude that she just stands there while Creeper Mario stares at her from a distance. Shigeru Miyamoto put this in the game so that people would understand what it's like for short-statured men in the dating world. After those precious 8 seconds, the figurative stone rolls down the hill and Sissy Mario has to start all over again, desperate to get his fix. Desperate to stare at Pauline for another 8 seconds. Within the game, Mario is given a hammer. On the surface, this seems like a useful instrument provided to aid him in his efforts, but it's actually a tool intended to increase Mario's suffering, effectively making the player feel Shigeru Miyamoto's deep-seated hatred for humanity. The hammer makes you feel safe, but you're never safe. In fact, the hammer will abandon you when you need it most, reinforcing Donkey Kong's theme that you are utterly alone and life is suffering. To pour even more salt into Mario's gaping, aching wounds, he is tasked with picking up various accessories that Pauline has carelessly left strewn about the environment. You can almost feel Mario's crushing depression increase with every parasol and purse. The final character in the game is its namesake, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong represents the oppression of life and its unyielding desire to prevent you from what you desire most, and destroy you as you seek to gain it.